Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist here at American RV. Today I'm going to talk to you about the 2016 Keystone Passport 3350BH. This is a phenomenal bunkhouse floor plan. It's going to have a bath and a half and a ton of space. But let's go ahead and start off on the front here on the outside, then we'll make our way in. So right up front is your propane tank cover. You have two 20 pound propane tanks for 40 pounds of propane altogether. Behind that is going to be the tray for your battery. Right here is the diamond plating. So any kind of rocks or anything that get thrown up by your tow vehicle are just gonna hit this diamond plating and not scratch up the beautiful fiberglass here on the front. Uh, one thing I do like to talk about Passport is towability. And there's several different factors in that, but one of them is going to be the front end. You can see how it has a nice curve on here, which is gonna help for aerodynamics and that that tow experience. Uh, for hooking up or disconnecting at night, you'll see you also have a light right over here, which of course will help with that. As we come around to the side, you can take a look, nice big pass-through storage. You know, nice and open, it's not gonna be cluttered, you have a light in there. You can also see the aluminum framing. That's gonna be another part of the towability. The Passport is gonna be a lightweight line, but it's still gonna have excellent construction and durability. Uh, also on the uh, pass-through storage here, this door is nice and wide, so you can fit larger items through. And it's gonna be the same size door on the other side. A lot of your manufacturers will put a smaller door on the off door side which is really inconvenient because you'll put something in here and not be able to get it out over there. Not the case on the Passport. If you take a look up top you'll see nice big power awning, touch a button rolls out, touch of a button rolls back in. Super simple one person operation. You don't have to sit here and monkey with it trying to, to get it to work. You know just super easy to use which is why we love it. A uh, black tank flush right here. Again, ease of use, you know, trying to make camping easy for you. Instead of having to take a hose and put it down the toilet when you're done camping to wash out your black tank, you can just take that same hose, put it right in here. That black tank has sprayers built in. It'll go ahead and wash it out for you. Two entryways on this coach. The first one right here is going to be the main entryway. You can see it has three steps. First one's nice and low to the ground there. Easy grab handle here too in order to assist you to get into the coach. One other thing I love about the Passport, it is going to have a fully enclosed and heated underbelly, so it is gonna let you camp later into the season. That way, as long as you're running the furnace, it's gonna force air underneath where all of your lines and tanks are to make sure nothing's going to freeze up on you. Again, going back to towability, you'll see right here they have load equalization axles, which is gonna be a spread axle system. Nice thing about that, the wider your axles are apart, the less chance for the uh, trailer to sway, so that's gonna help your overall towability. Also, these are going to be easy lube axles, so less maintenance for you. Instead of having to constantly repack your bearings, there'll be a grease dirt right in here when you take this cover off. You can take your grease gun, put it on there, pump some grease into it. Uh, this is going to be your second black tank flush. This unit does have two black tanks as it is gonna be a bath and a half model. So that's uh, what this one is right here. Extra plug-in, so if you need to plug anything in, you can certainly do that right there. Second entryway, as I mentioned, this one is gonna go directly into the bathroom. Big advantage of that, whether it's you or the kids, you need to use the bathroom, you can just head right in, use it, come back out. You don't have to traipse dirt throughout the entire RV. And then right back here is the outside kitchen. So nice big outside kitchen here. I love what they've done. Uh, right here's gonna be your refrigerator for any condiments, beverages, plenty of room up here, which is great for paper plates, cups, everything else you're gonna need. And then this is the outside kitchen here. So pulls out nice and easily. This will just lock into place right there. You'll see you have a faucet. This is gonna be your water basin. And then right here is the two burner cooktop. Uh, underneath is going to be your gas quick connect, so you can go ahead and plug that in. Or if you want to use a grill, you can leave this in, just put your grill right up here, and then just use the quick connect there. Uh, also, the other thing I like about this, when you do pull it out, even though it seems like it's a smaller um, outside kitchen, you can see you have a ton of prep space. The shelves on both sides slide out, which is phenomenal, just gives you, like I said, a lot of extra prep space there. Slide that right back in. If we come around to the back here, outside shower, very usable on the 3350. A lot of times they put it on the off door side of the coach, they have it right here. So when you're done with the beach, you need to spray your feet off, whatever you need, you can. That will have both hot and cold access. Tire is going to be mounted on the bumper. Uh, hopefully you never have to use it, but in the event that you do, there it is right there. Window in the bunkhouse, we'll see that more when we go inside, but that's gonna let in a lot of natural light and in the back for the kids. Then if you look up top, you'll see the natural arc of the roof line 
line. That again is going to be important because that way water doesn't sit on top of the trailer. It's going to roll off to the sides. It'll hit the rain gutters, which are going to go front to back. So the water is going to come, you know, down here and up front, not down on the campsite. All right, folks, it's pretty much going to wrap it up for out here. Let's go take a look at the inside. Welcome to the inside of the 2016 Keystone Passport 3350. Let's start off on the kitchen. You have huge countertops in here, which is absolutely phenomenal. Right here is going to be your double bowl sink. Nice large bowl on the left, smaller bowl on the right, perfect for washing and rinsing dishes. Also, it does come with uh, two sink top covers, which are going to be cutting board quality. So you can go ahead, chop up all your veggies, meats, whatever you need to do. When you're done, flip it back over so you have the nice sides sticking up and no one will know. Right here is the high rise faucet, which again is going to help aid in doing the dishes. And one other thing uh, to note, when you have big countertops, a big prep space like this, that means you're going to get big storage underneath. So you can see you have access right over here by the entryway. Open this up, huge uh, access right there, great storage. These are going to be two full extension drawers, uh, just great room right there as well. Then when you come around over to this side, we can open up and again another access point to the storage so a ton of storage down below three burner atwood cooktop with a high output in front and the conventional oven in case you want to do a little bit of baking up above is the hood with a light and a fan as well as a microwave then right here you have the beautiful raised panel cabinetry the nice brush nickel pulls on there open this up and you get great pantry space there now to round out the kitchen, right here's the Dometic fridge freezer. Uh, you can see you have plenty of space there. This does have a cutout in case you have anything tall needs to go in there. And then uh, nice wood panels on there too. This is going to be both uh, run off both electric and uh, propane and it has automatic switch over. So if you are running it off of propane, as soon as you plug it into shore power, that's going to switch over for you. Right here is going to be the half bath. In the corner is your toilet with a foot flush lever, the second doorway, uh, mirrored medicine cabinet, great storage there, and then down underneath that is the sink with additional storage underneath. Now right in the back is the bunkhouse, plenty of space back here, you can come on back, see you have a nice big slide to really open this up. Uh, the top bunk does lift up and lock in place to give you more headroom when you're sitting down on the couch. I do love the couch they have in here. It's kind of a cube style couch because these actually fold up uh, or fold out rather and they make a huge bed. So if you have, you know, taller kids, you know, they're getting older and they're, you know, 6'2", six, 6'3", six, they, they are able to sleep in on these, uh, this bed where most of the bunks they're not able to. So a really cool system there. Also on the top bunks, they have the Teddy Bear Bunk Series, which is nice and soft. That way the kids will get a good night's sleep. Uh, windows, you have a window on this side, a window in the back as well as a window on this side over here to really let in a ton of light. Also this top bunk here is going to be nice and wide so if you do need to sleep two kids up here you can definitely do that too. Excellent storage throughout. You can see this has a ladder built in, huge deep storage there, some storage down below, same thing over here and then take a look at this. You want to talk about storage in a bunk room, if you can't fit all your clothes in there you have some problems. Same thing over here, again, nice deep storage goes all the way back to the wall and you have the storage underneath. The other thing I like about this bunkhouse, look where the TV location is. It's going to be right here on this wall. A lot of times when it's built into here, only the kids over here can see it. The person on the top bunk isn't going to be able to. So when you uh, put it here, everyone is able to watch the TV uh, so everyone can take advantage of that location, which is going to be fantastic. Also right down here is an additional plug. So if the kids do need to plug in any kind of electronics, whether that be their phones, tablets, they can easily do that. Let's step on out of the bunk room and let me show you this right here, right on the outside. You do have uh, a very versatile storage. If you want, you can use this for additional kids' clothes if you can't fit them all in the huge section there, or it does make for a very nice pantry. And then this is going to be our super slide on the off door side. Huge U dinette. This is the rattan interior that you see on the back here, uh, but nice big U dinette. So you have plenty of room for the whole family to sit around and enjoy a meal together.
The other thing I like about the U dinette is it makes a very large bed. So if you have additional guests that are coming to stay the night, you can take these legs out, table drops down, fill it in with cushions, and that will be a large enough bed for two adults to sleep on. Great window space here, uh, as well as excellent lighting. You'll note that the LED lights are gonna run throughout the, the ceiling on the coach here, uh, which you know, LED lights are fantastic. They're nice and bright and they use a lot less power than your standard incandescents. This is going to be a jackknife sofa. You can see it has the leather look here. Uh, the thing I really like about jackknife sofas is this right here. Take a look at all that storage underneath. Nice, easy access to that storage too. And this will fold down into a bed if you need the additional sleeping space. Now, one of the other cool things about this coach, this right here, as soon as you walk in, look at that, a place to hang up your jackets. You know, a lot of the coaches don't have this, the 3350 does. So you walk in, unzip your coat, hang it up right there, have a, a couple spots for some shoes, maybe some sandals. Same thing here, great storage throughout there, and some additional storage here up top. Also, the control panel is nice and high. A lot of times, same thing. These are really low in a bunkhouse. If you have really young kids, they're gonna come by, push all the buttons. Not the case in the 3350. It's gonna be tucked, uh, tucked away right up top. Entertainment center right here. This uh, coach does come with a 32 inch TV. I know this uh, is not a TV. This is gonna be a piece of paper, but we do that so they don't get taken off the lot. However, uh, as I mentioned, nice big TV. This is gonna be on a swivel arm. So whether you're gonna be in the dinette, on the couch, or in the kitchen, you can go ahead and watch that from anywhere. Also up top here, some additional storage. Has the nice tinted glass there. Same thing underneath, additional storage there. And then this is going to be your Jensen Multi media center. Uh, the cool thing about this, this is going to be connected to the speakers outside as well. Um, and you can go ahead and control the zones from inside to outside. So this will be your radio, CD player, and a DVD player. So if you want to watch a movie, you can go ahead and pop a movie in, watch it on the TV. This is Bluetooth capable as well. So if you do want to listen to a streaming music service, uh, you can connect your cell phone or tablet to that via Bluetooth and be able to do that wirelessly. All right, folks, that's gonna wrap it up for back here. Let's head right in here. We'll take a look at our master bath. In the master bath, the 3350, right down in the corner is going to be your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room all the way around for your legs. Right over here is the uh, vanity. You can see you have great storage underneath, electrical outlet here, and the mirrored medicine cabinet. This is gonna be our Neo Angle shower, nice uh, glass shower enclosure there. You see you also have some shelving space for all of your shampoo, hand wand, everything you're going to need. Also, this bathroom does have two entrances, one which is gonna go out into the uh, main hallway or right in here into the bedroom. Speaking of, let's go take a look. The bedroom of the Passport 3350 is going to feature a walk-around residential 60 by 80 queen-size bed. Also, there is going to be storage underneath, lifts up nice and easily, and you can see the nice compartmented storage there. On both sides, you have a wardrobe space where you can go ahead and hang clothes as well as a nice shelf up top and a shelf down below. Both sides also do have an electrical outlet, so if you need to charge any kind of electronic devices or if you sleep with a CPAP machine, you are able to plug that in and be on either side of the bed. Reading lights here underneath as well as storage all along the top with the tinted glass there too. If you are someone that likes to watch TV before you go to bed, right here is where that will go ahead and mount. They put a sticker there for you and of course it plugs in right there. All right, folks, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up. Again, this is a 2016 Keystone Passport 3350BH. This really is a great family floor plan. If you're looking for a model with a bath and a half, an outside kitchen, nice big bunkhouse, and plenty of kitchen storage, then this is probably the model for you. If you do have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave those on the video, or you can give myself, Ian Baker, a call here at American RV, and I'll be happy to answer that way as well. Thanks for watching, I'm Ian Baker, and I can't wait to see you on the road to freedom.